Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'll show you how to use this, if you see below here, this free teleport script and GUI and how to add it to your game. So what can this do? If you it can teleport you, so if you press um, like G, you can teleport to your mouse location. So here I'm pointing and I'm pressing G. Now you can also teleport to a spawn location and by clicking here on this gray and choosing a spawn location. So if I choose 2 and I press teleport, I go to spawn 2. And if I choose spawn 3 and I press teleport, it takes me to spawn 3. Now you can also teleport to a player and looking down here, clicking on this arrow, I press player and press here again and I see there's only one player so if I choose him and I press teleport I go to go to that player now if you see down below you see passengers on what that means is if I teleport with another player in my aura this player will teleport with me so example if I press G again to teleport it go the player goes with me so let's teleport to our spawns and you can even teleport still to destination. If I teleport to spawn one, you will teleport with me. Now you can turn that off. Go here and press off. And now if I teleport anywhere, I'll teleport alone. Okay guys, so pause the video. Um, link to, to this teleport script and GUI is in the description. So go click on that. Now it will take you over here and you can click on this get button to, to get it. So after you've get it, let's go in Roblox Studio. So inside Roblox Studio we need to go get it in the toolbox, go here to view, then click on toolbox. After that click over here, then click on teleport script and GUI. Okay, so now I'll show you how to add this, add all the stuff. So first let's add the teleport um, script inside service script service. Next we'll add teleport character 9000 remote event in a replicated storage. Next the spawn points we must put in workspace. And then teleport GUI will put in the starter GUI. Okay, I want you to test that to see if everything works first. Okay, so now let me go through some of the settings. Now, if, if you want to add more spawn points, as you can see here, we have the spawn points. You can just copy, let's say, copy this one, press Ctrl D. But what you must do is you must change the name because the name is, the, is what you'll see in the GUI. So I'll change mine to city. And I can even change the, the parts. I'll just make it transparency one so it's invisible and make more of them. Now if we test that, clicking over here and then on city, and then teleport will take us to, to that spawn locations. Okay, so now another settings is if you go in service script service and then click on teleport, Teleport time, you can change this number, it will change the time it takes to teleport to the new destination, you can make it 2 seconds. This distance limit in studs is to where is the aura your passengers will join, the higher it is the further the passengers can join, so let's make it 20. And then if you want to change the key bind, if you, you should go here in start a GUI, teleport. Enum key code. This is when we must press G to teleport to our mouse location. If you click backspace and another backspace again and then dot again, you will you'll see this window appears and you can click any of the following. I'm gonna click C. Now um, the other one is also let's say you want to change the sparkles to something else. So inside teleport here, click on your part sparkles inside it change you can delete this one and add your 
custom one. So let's add just particle limiter. So now if we test all that by clicking play. So now it's I must press C to teleport and you can see the particles is, is different this from spark, sparkles to particles and it takes longer to teleport. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Um, subscribe and like this video.